Hey Nick. Should we do something good today? Morning. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubts. Be free with me. Let's go, let's be free with me. my screen. Not bad is it? It's got all the movies on it and everything, all the latest movies. Got my own desk. That's my control panel. And down there is this is where I operate the seats. It's Nicola. That's Nicola over there, that's her seat. It's quite clever because all of, even though all these people are around me, you can't actually see anybody from this position. So, there's a guy, somebody sat over here, but of course the screen's up so I can't see him. So it's excellent. I'm very impressed with this. This is the A380, upstairs on the A380. So, uh, yeah, results. Well, this is the only private place on the plane in the lab. So, Nick is asleep, finished the movies. So, uh, I just thought I'd come and have a word with you guys. Uh, this is a massive toilet. Exciting. We've actually got two turnarounds, uh, which is unprecedented. I've never done that. Oh, well, I think I have once in my flying career. Uh, I'll explain all of that later. So, this is the queue at Amy's. We've just landed in LA now, and this is the queue for, for the car rentals. That is ridiculous. Look at that. Unbelievable. Right guys, I'm finishing today's vlog. Uh, absolutely shattered we are. We've been up 24 hours. It took about an hour to get the car from Avis. Ridiculous. But what a car I've got. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to driving it. Anyway, I'll sp speak to you guys tomorrow. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. Yeah, morning guys, it's morning again. Let me tell you about last night what happened. So we got in very late. Well, it was about, 
I think it was about eight o'clock, half past eight, uh, we were delayed last night when we got in. We actually had two go-arounds. That's where they tried to land the plane, uh, have a bit of a panic attack, and then take off again. And the reason being was, uh, as we were coming into land, the, the tailwind that we, the, sorry, the, the wind that we it was going in one direction and then it turned right at the last minute so we had a tailwind and it's very difficult to land uh, you need to pick up your speed to land in a with a tailwind situation so we couldn't do it so off we go next time we went round and coming into land the actual uh, airport wasn't ready for us so we had another go around and that's the first time or the second time in my 22 years of flying that we've had, I've had two go arounds I've had single ones but never Never a, a double one. Anyway, then we got to Avis and what a nightmare that was. Uh, we were queuing for over an hour to try and get the car. The car's fantastic. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but yeah, just yet. I'll wait and show you that later on. Weather's not great, uh, but it's not raining. It was lashing it down last night though, so that was a bit of a nightmare. Trying to get to the Sofitel, the hotel where we're staying, was a real nightmare. Uh, yeah, it wasn't good at all. Uh, yeah, in Beverly Hills. Anyway, let me show you the view out of the window. So that is the view. Now, I'm told, oh, this is a, a Hollywood uh, sign. Uh, you can see the Hollywood sign somewhere up there. Oh, oh yes. Let me just see if I can zoom in on that. It's a, quite a distance away, but the Hollywood sign is behind that blinking tree. Why didn't they cut the tree down? Is is up there. Can you see that? Can you see that? He's up there. Where the heck is it? Anyway, let me zoom back out again. So that's the view out of the hotel. It's quite nice. Those uh, were down in Beverly Hills. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, we're going to go out for some breakfast now. I'm just waiting for Nicola to get ready. And we're going to go out for some food. So, I'll catch you guys in a minute. Okay, well we had some breakfast. Uh, I didn't want to film it because uh, I think Ross would have had a coronary. <laughs> See what I ate. But anyway, so we've had breakfast and uh, we've decided to venture out. We've got the car out. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute. It's fantastic. Uh, we've uh, driven up the Pacific Coast Highway and uh, we're now in Malibu. Weather's not brilliant, but it's not too bad. The sun's it's warm. The sun's trying to come out now. So we're in Malibu uh, and just thought we'd come and see the sea. Now this right here in Malibu is where uh, the Rockford Files was uh, filmed. With, you know with James Garner? So he was here from 1974 to 1980 filming the Rockford Files. About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking, we'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out Tell you a bit about this car. It is a Ford 
Mustang GT, five litre, five litre. I don't, I don't know how many horses are under the bonnet, but all I can tell you is they're absolutely raging. Uh, it's an amazing car, it sounds fantastic. I'll let you hear the sound of it in a bit. But that, that is our car. A convertible five litre Ford Mustang. Los Angeles, Malibu, California. 